Jason, let's just start with that that play at the end there where you and uh, Jalen collided. What what happened and how are you feeling? Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah, we just collided and I guess he stepped on my foot and he fell on my leg. Uh, but it should be all right. You know, see how I feel tomorrow. Uh, but, yeah, I should be okay. Matt Vitor. Uh, was it worse when it happened initially, and, and has time improved it, or? Yeah, uh, I was able to walk off the court by myself, so yeah, that's a good sign. Adam Hemmelsbach. Jason, have you spoken to Jalen? Um, we're obviously not speaking to him tonight, but how he's feeling and what actually happened to him, and then you guys have been pretty good on the clutch these last couple of weeks. Um, what do you think uh, went wrong today? Yeah, uh, I mean, I'm, I hope he's all right. Uh, and today, I think, you know, had some costly turnovers, missed opportunities um, in the late, late, late possessions of the game that we wish we could have back. Mark D'Amico. Hey, Jason, a couple questions about Evan Fournier for you. First of all, um, he just told us about the side effects that he's been experiencing from COVID. As a teammate and someone who's gone through that experience, albeit with, with different symptoms, have you talked to him at all about kind of battling through this? And then secondly, um, how important is it to have a guy like him shooting the ball that, the way that he did tonight for you guys moving forward? Yeah, well, you know, we had, we had plenty of talks about it. Uh, and just about how it was in my experiences when I came back, and uh, you know, just some things to look out for. And uh, yeah, obviously we lost, but it was good just to see him getting the groove and uh, you know see him feeling good about seeing shots go in. John Corrales. The the game was flowing pretty good there, and then you had the reviews, and and the game stopped for a while. How does that impact you on the court when you're when you're going and you've got a flow going, and then all of a sudden you've got to stop and wait for the reviews? I hate it. Uh, I think, like you said, it throws the rhythm of the game off. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not necessarily a fan of the reviews and. Uh, you know, challenging plays. But I guess it's just a part of the game now. Um, but, yeah, like you said, it throws off the rhythm of the game, um, and especially in those late uh, parts of the game. Gary Washburn. Hey, Jason, uh, seven games left. How do you move forward, kind of take some of the positives from this and maybe not let this affect you long term? You guys got to – try to avoid the play in Miami's you got two with Miami down the road. It just seems like you guys got a lot to, left to do and really can't let this kind of affect you. Yeah. Uh, you know, just take the mindset of whether we won or lost today, you just can't change that. And all you can do is prepare for the next one. Uh, so we just got to get ready for Orlando. You know, it's road trip Orlando and Chicago. We'll wrap it up right there. Thanks, Jason.